previously on the Fox Chamber. We're gonna be working on the Cobra today. We're gonna be working on these grimy seats. I ordered these through CJ Pony Parts because I talked to, um, I think, Mike at uh, TMI and he said to order them from either CJ Pony Parts or uh, LMR so I can get a halfway decent discount. And when you order something from CJ Pony Parts, don't pay the extra $35, $45, $55, whatever it is to get your seats early. They won't come early. But these are it. I got a few more back here to take loose. The only reason I'm taking these out because I think I need this right here to run through the other seat cover. Wow, this is actually broken. Well, y'all seen what was wrong with the seat, that little piece that was broken. Well, I got everything all prepped up, ready to tack weld it back in. I, well, let me, let me start off by saying I am not a welder. I melted metal together. And it's back together. It's only solid though. And you're gonna have to cut these right here off. Cut an opening in there to run this thing. Now you got something for the hog rings to cut you on to. The followings take place in my garage. Events happen in real time. I guess I'm gonna do these. I guess this one right here first. And come back and do the sides. Huh. I look like that'll work. Let's see what size to use. Well, I'm gonna use these, these big ones so I'll have a, or at least try them anyway. See how these work out. And this is my first time using hog rings too. Bravo Tango Whiskey. I like these, that's spring loaded to kind of hold them in there. Like I was saying, I got these off of Amazon. Ooh, yeah, this is not gonna be easy. Let's see, just like this, I guess. I'm gonna go ahead and cut a slit in this thing so I can not have to worry about trying to fight through that. Yeah, all right, yeah. Okay, let's see here. First hog ring. All right, first one's on. Huh, not too bad. Not bad for my first hog ring. All right, everything's downhill from here. These right here, sometimes you clamp down on them, they'll twist. So just make sure that you did clamp it because sometimes they'll twist and they won't be clamped. Just found that out a couple times. Yeah, all right, I got the hog rings there. One on two on the side and two on this side. Now we just gotta fold everything back around and see how this thing fits. in there nice and snug no it's not gonna fit perfect but it fits pretty good okay looks pretty even yeah I think that'll work New bottom, ready to go. Yeah, looks like everything is 
pretty much lined up like it's supposed to be. Yeah, I think that's it. Hmm. Looks like I already got a slot cut in the side. I gotta see. <laughs> I might have to use this for the other side. Uh, I mean, uh, I might have to take this back off, which I do not want to do. I did not know that it was a slot and I thought I had to cut all those slots. Okay. Yeah, this right here, slot is cut for that right there. Y'all, I got lucky. 50-50 shot. Yeah, this slot is cut for that right there. That little uh, uh, T45 bracket or T45 bolt. Yeah, got lucky with that one. But that's what it's cut for, that slot right there. Whew, I ain't gotta pull none of this off. Ah, well, glad that, cause on the, I saw online where you gotta make that incision, but uh, I guess they already cut it. So good thing is I picked the right one up. But yeah, that's the bottom. Yeah, I'm digging it, I like it. It's full, yeah, a couple of wrinkles, but yeah, what can you do? But yeah, it's, it's that's that's nice. I like that. And the one thing I got to do is make some cuts for the controls on this bad boy. And that's what's going to worry me half to death. Making sure those are right. Yeah, I'm going to pull this piece right here back up. Make sure I got all my cuts for the uh, seat uh, controls in the front and on the side. That's going to be interesting. Well, I guess I could look at this one to see where where it's cut at. All right, small cuts. And the one for the side right there. This is going to take some measuring and some measure through or measure two or three times cut once kind of thing. All right. But yeah, that, that fits good. I like that. All right, now for the hard part. Let me figure out what I'm going to do with this and I get back with you in a second. All right, I got, I got everything pulled up. I went ahead and mounted the control to the to the seat in there to see exactly where i was going to cut made a couple of marks on the outside just inside from where i was going to need to be cutting just so i don't cut too much but yeah i want to put a mark in there just so i can do that so i can only uh i don't want to mess this thing up but uh, anyhow i'll get back with you in a second all right so adam made me some cuts I'm committed now. So I made it small. I went bolt hole to bolt hole from there to there. And then I can just widen it from there. So now I'm going to see how it fits if I take this off and slide it on. Because I might just have to cut a little bit more just to get the slide in. Uh, get back with you in a sec. All right, a little bit of an update on where I was at. You saw the two, or you saw the cuts that I made. I got this mounted. It looks real good. But I think I might have to go up a little bit more on the cut. See it kind of pulls, pulls away right there. I'm gonna cut up just a little bit more, maybe about a half inch. And maybe that'll help along this edge right there. But yeah, right there is good. I mean, from the front, looks real good. So I didn't know the big thing, I didn't cut too much. So right there is good. So I'm just gonna cut up, well towards the top of the seat anyway, about a half inch. I'm gonna get back with you in a sec. All right, that is fitting on there about the best way I'm gonna do it. I'm not gonna cut any more on this piece right here because I don't wanna overcut it. I just gotta connect this, uh, this little clamp right here, which really, just those bolts right there is holding it in pretty good. So I'll probably clamp that in maybe if I can uh, do it without stressing any of this material. Now, I gotta make another cut for the side pieces right here. So let me get this thing measured up and uh, get back with you in a sec when I figure out how I'm gonna do this one. All right, I think I finally got the side controls done. I got that stuff right there. I had it mounted again, but I, I took the screws and stuff out of those. But I got this one mounted. I felt where the screw holes were, and I came just to the inside of the screw holes. It made me an incision right there. 
So now I'm gonna take everything off, put it on the outside and, and screw it back in and see if I, or where I gotta cut it at. Cause I don't have to cut it either on this side or on this side just to open up a little bit so it'll mount. Man, you talking about some nerve wracking stuff. <laughs> this is nerve wracking because you only got one chance to get it right. So you make small, small cuts. So let me take this right here back off and put it on the outside and see what we got. And by the way, while I'm thinking about it, this piece is broken and I'm trying to make it fit. The screw holes on both sides right there, you might be able to see it. It's kind of broken off on both ends. And I'm having to use some, uh, some of these screws right here to help hold it. So hopefully this works because that's the only thing that I got to make it fit actually. So like I'm saying, let me get this right here mounted back up and see what we got. Well, I got the, the shell of it mounted. I did, a, I did a couple of cuts, real small cuts, till I got it to where I can get both of these screws in. And uh, it's a little rough, but it, you're not even really gonna see this one because this one's towards the, uh, the, the shifter. So this one really ain't even gonna be seen really. So um, I'm pretty satisfied with that. I'll probably try to uh, clean it up a little bit. Make it, try to make it smoother if I can. But yeah, that's what I got so far. Yeah, I got it cut. No big cuts on the outside, so I got that one in. So let me, uh, let me try to sweeten this up a little bit and then get back with you. Uh, all right, I'm getting ready to put the seat bottom on. Well, the, the track or whatever. I got this about as best I can get it for being it being broken. So I'm a, I'll probably mess with it a little bit more later on, but this is taking me a long time. And I'm just with the driver's side bottom. But you'll see the what I had to do anyway. But now I gotta run these 10 millimeter bolts in and the bottom of the seat will be done after I hook up the one little connection right there. Then we can start on the top. Well, that seat's done. Finally, after I don't know, uh, five, six hours. But I had to do a few mods, you know that, you all remember. Ooh, they said uh, four hours to do this. They probably meant all of it. <laughs> but anyhow, we're getting ready to do the, the top half now. And uh, let's get to it. I gotta figure out how to get this thing out of there. There's a little clip on the inside that I just pushed down on and then slid this out. So, wish I can show you exactly what clip it is. Let me see if I can. Yeah, it's right up under, right up under here. You'll feel that's like a little metal clip right up under this, this center piece to push down on it and you can slide it right out. Looks like the only hog rings I got on the top part is right here in the center. Oh, well, that's good. It'd be a lot easier to snap this one on. And we're gonna pretty much do the same thing. Cut this piece right here off and slide it in the, the new one. Yep. See, this one's all eat up too. Sides toe up. And well, this is all, you can see all the bladders and stuff like that that this thing has got on there. Gotta make sure I don't uh, 
disconnect any of these bad boys. So my lumbar will keep working. <clears throat> I gotta make sure I grab the right one because I think these, uh, they might have them already pre-cut for something. Let me check. Uh, I don't think this one's pre-cut. So I might have got lucky on the seat bottom and grabbed the right one. All right, I guess either one can go on these. Well, that one just had the three right there in the center. And after that, just pretty much just roll everything all the way down, then make your, then I gotta make the cuts in the sides and the top. Well, this is like the next day and as you can see that new seat that I just did I already got it in the car I went ahead and finished it up last night and got it in the car but you know there's a couple of things I probably didn't go over so I'm gonna use this seat to go over those other things but I got the other one in the car hmm We'll find out how I like it in a little bit. But anyway, let's get to this one. Okay, I'm gonna get to uh, the point I left off is I was putting the cover on this one right here and getting ready to bolt it to the bottom. So when I get to that point with this seat, that's what we're gonna pick up at. Exactly what I did, got everything mounted and all that good stuff. So I'll get back with you in a little bit when I get this seat to the point that I was at with the other one. See you in a little bit. Finally got the this seat pulled down over it. This little, it's like a lip down at the bottom. One, one is hooked like that and one is hooked on the other side. This is very, very hard to get. But you have to uh, pull this down and there's a little piece of, there's a hard piece of plastic that's up under here. If you wedge it right here and then fold it down you'll get a lot more length out of this, uh, this back piece right here, so it'll latch to the front piece. Uh, I couldn't, <laughs> to show you, I had to stop what I was doing, but I finally got it to latch and I did not want to stop where I was at. But hopefully, you know what I'm talking about, and if you ever get one of these, or get a set of these uh, seats, it is very taut. So, that shouldn't come off. It's locked in. Man, you can see it is it is tight right in there. So we're gonna hope that they sew this thing up with the utmost quality. 
and then this thing will sort of settle in after a little while but it's on there now next thing we got to do is mount the headrest and get the slots cut and get the uh, little uh, shoulder harness little bracket in there but all in all the I was able to use the the OEM uh, foam and that right there that's that comes from the way they stored it because they stored it folded somehow because it's wrinkled right there and I could not get this wrinkle out so that's that comes from the way that these things are stored so TMI if you're watching find a better way to store these things so they'll come out looking like this because this side over here is nice and smooth yeah see this side it was stored folded so that's why the wrinkles you can't can't work these wrinkles right here out but other than that they got to find a better way to store these things because with the oem it seems like it's even better than the uh than the aftermarket foam because i got it hog ring right across there and the uh the hook and latch and the sides are all connected get it a nice tight fit but yeah it's in there i mean i i like it it's just that uh the way this thing is stored messes it up as you can see this side is good a little small wrinkle there but that's all right this side same thing but look at the bottom the bottom is wrinkle free completely no wrinkles whatsoever I mean, it's just as smooth as it did, as it would be from brand new. See, and this is the OEM bottom. I didn't change the foam in this one. You see how tight it is. That right there is very good. Yep, now we just gotta get this mounted and set in there. First things first, gotta cut the hole. As I'm being real careful not to get any greasy fingers or whatever on there from handling the the seat bottom or whatever all right now for the seat bottom well i gotta find you your little hole right there dead center be very careful you definitely don't want to slide out and damage this thing because i'm trying to cut it real slow it's about midways i'm not going to try to open it up any more than that I know one thing you do want to remember is that when you do the driver's side, it's on this side. You got to remember when you get ready to do the passenger side that it's on the opposite side. I just thought about that. So make sure you don't try to cut on the same side. But anyhow, uh, right along here, I think it's about an inch and a half I measured from there to that first hole. An inch and a half. Let me somewhere up in here. So now we just got to feel around so we can find it. Right there. I can feel it on the back side with my finger. So I'm gonna stick this one right here in. I'm gonna center it up best as I can. All right, that's about centered up. Just looking at it. So you do have a little bit of a leeway if you do make a little bit of a mistake because it will be kind of covered up. But I'm gonna try to shoot for that spot right there. Maybe that's on. We're gonna see. I think that's the hole. Let me see. Yep, that's it. That's the spot. Boom. And then just run your bolt back in there. Line them back up. She good to go. There. Mounted, no extra holes. This is the stock for the factory headrest cover. It looks like it's in real good shape, which it is in real good shape, but the color is slightly off from this one right here. And plus I've already replaced the other one. And if I don't replace this one, it won't match. So gotta take this off and replace it. As good as this thing is, just so the color will match. 
Yeah. And this thing right here is not easy to take off or not easy to put back together either. This thing is very, very tight. But just two snaps. That opens that up. And there you go. But I'm gonna try not to destroy these things because uh, somebody might need them. There, covers off. And you do wanna keep this plastic. If not, put a different plastic on there just to help it slide on. All right, got them locked in. Now, at least the headrest is gonna match. Yeah, don't forget your guide. Headrest installed. Yeah, that's a good look. All right. Now we gotta get the bottom and get the holes drilled out so we can put this on. And this right here, you're just gonna basically have to feel your way into this right here. You see the hole right there and one right there. And plus all this is gonna be covered up anyway. bolts for this this hole and right there boom all right so now the other side is as you see right there it's already got a cut in it and it's already got it slid through that's where your uh, t45 gonna go in Yeah, make sure this little plastic piece is back over the uh, the forward hole. Cause that thing right there will slide out if you ain't careful. And you can see I usually wait to the end when I got everything nice and tight, pretty much buttoned up. That's when I start doing all my cuts. So I know I'm cutting in the right spot and it won't stretch any. There's your little latch right there for the uh, to let your seat up and down. And cut you enough uh, opening so it will slide up and down. But don't make it too big, because it ain't got to slide much. And then, go yep and that's back installed so now all thing I do now is put the seat back in the car and see how they look I'm gonna go ahead and stick them back in there and let you see how they look when I get done man you might be surprised Wanna be the best in the game, invest in my name Check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain I ingest, I retain, assess and I change Possessed by the thought I'll be free one day From society's restraints, money, clout and fame Mud disease, a plague, we all love to hate Have to play the game, have to make a name All our insecurities are on This display. is war with the enemy Think that it was meant to be Living in a time where disease is on every screen I won't let them fester me I know most are festering Negativity is a plague for the mentally weak Yep I love these things. And one thing I did want to mention is, remember I mentioned that the, the seat was wrinkled whenever I put it in or the way they shipped them, it was wrinkled. And if you notice that after a while, I've been out in the heat, cause this has been, it's been a few days, uh, actually probably about a week. And when I'm filming this portion right here, and I'm gonna let you look at that portion that I was not so happy with uh, when I was putting it together. It was right here, this section right here. It was wrinkled from, well, from where they were shipping it at. As you can see, I guess being out in the heat, 
is to kind of smooth it out a little bit. You can see it very slightly, but for the most part, it's about gone. So I'm kind of happy with that. And the little up in the corners or whatever, you're not gonna get rid of that. But that's always there, but that's no big problem. It's just this big section right here is the main thing I was wondering about. But as you can see, the majority of it's gonna come out and it'll probably smooth out a little bit more being outside in the heat. So I'm good with that right there. But I do love these seats. They came out great. So overall, 100% satisfied. Love them. They came out great. Not crazy difficult to put in, but um, you know, you do have to work at it a little bit. It is a little bit of a struggle at times, especially to get the upper half of the seat to clasp under the bottom. That's probably the most difficult part. And the hog rings, and eh, it's so-so. Not as hard as I thought they were gonna be. But all in all, like I said, loved how this thing turned out. Very good looking seat covers. TMI, you did your thing, boy, on this one right here. Love the seats. So I'm satisfied with them. And uh, I got one more thing that I'm dealing with, and that's up under the hood on this thing. Right when I thought everything was done, something else pops up. But that's gonna be in the next video, dealing with this, trying to get this thing ready for Ford Takeover. Yeah, Ford Takeover is like a week, about a, actually one week away today. So, and if y'all didn't know, Ford Takeover is basically my birthday party that uh, Caleb is throwing for me, Foxcast Media. Yeah, he decided to throw a birthday party for me and call it Ford Takeover. Yep, June 11th, that's your boy's birthday. Caleb, I, 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 I peeped you out, bro. I know this is my birthday party <laughs> and he's just calling it Ford Takeover. But uh, anyhow, yes, this car, hopefully I can get this thing back together again so it'll be at Ford Takeover. If not, I will be taking the Fox, but Hopefully I can take this one right here, making the tour this year with the Cobra. So if anything, uh, if y'all would, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button if you would. But anyway, uh, I'll see y'all in about a week at Ford Takeover. <laughs>